Hello, everyone, enlightenment seekers. Welcome back to Chokor Sumling, to all you Buddhas in training. Today, we are going to jump in and read page 23 of this book that I'm coming to love, Lam Rimya, Making Life Meaningful Day by Day, Teachings, Compiled Teachings of Lama Yeshe and Lama Zopa Rinpoche and wonderfully, wonderfully put together and published by Lama Yeshe Wisdom Archive. There you go. There it is. You can go to their uh, website, um, www.lamayeshe.com and follow the and get updates from uh, lamrimya.com dedicated for uh, to this book, right? Um, and get updates on your email every day. So sign up, please sign up. And for those of you who are joining newly, go to YouTube, to Chokor Sumling, like, subscribe, all that. And then go to our podcast tab and you can look at all the te uh, teachings being read out one page a day on the podcast list. All right. <clears throat> Shall we start? Okay. Day 23. Quote. To disrespect the Guru is to disrespect all the Buddhas, end quote, Lama Zuparimpache. Text. Having established a dharma connection and accepted a Guru-disciple relationship, if we then criticize or give up that Guru, we incur the same heavy negative karma as having criticized or given up all the Buddhas. The Tibetan term Nyam Mo has two aspects. The heavier aspect is giving up or abandoning the guru as an object of respect of our body, speech, and mind. The other aspect is criticizing the guru and generating anger, hearsay, and other negative thoughts. This is related to the explanation that the virtuous friend is the essence or embodiment of all the Buddhas. If we serve or make offerings to our virtuous friend, we are serving or making offerings to all the Buddhas. On the other hand, if we criticize or give up our virtuous friend, it is the same as criticizing or giving up all the Buddhas. Leave aside criticizing or disrespecting the Lama who reveals Dharma by sitting on a high throne, even doing so to our everyday teacher, the one who taught us to read and, uh, and with whom we live, becomes in fact criticizing or disrespecting, disrespecting all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. Most of us have minds that have been habituated to attachment, anger, and all other delusions during beginless rebirths. Because of this, it is extremely difficult for us to overcome negative thoughts towards the Guru. So if we don't practice Guru devotion, we'll continue to generate negative thoughts towards our Guru, especially anger and hearsay, the shortcomings of which are very heavy. Three big ideas to recall from today. Criticizing or giving up the Guru is as harmful as criticizing or giving up all the Buddhas. This is because our Guru and even our everyday teacher is the essence of all the Buddhas. By practicing devotion, we can stop our habitual negative thoughts towards the Guru. All right. I'll leave it at that. That's all for today. And if I've made any mispronunciation of the Tibetan term that was in this page, please forgive me. I'm just about making up my mind to start learning Tibetan. And that's a wrap. I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. And see you tomorrow. Bye from Chakor Sunling.